<laughs> All right. On your, on, on your notes, it says the word torment here comes from a Greek word mm -hmm. that refers to affliction or punishment. That's what that Greek word refers to. Now, now affliction is defined as a condition of great distress, pain, or suffering. Now, this is a result of fear. Yes, sir. Punishment is defined as the infliction of some kind of pain or loss. Mm -hmm. One definition for torment in the dictionary says that it is <coughs> the anguish of mind and body. Mm -hmm. Anguish is extreme pain and misery or extreme mental or physical torture. Mm. Wow. I'm telling you, fear is devastating. It is. When, you, mm. when you allow fear to overcome you, you can experience all these yep, things sir. that we're talking about. All of them. Now, what all these different words and definitions express is that if we are ever overcome by fear, we will experience physical and or mental suffering, pain, or torment. Physical suffering or torment that is brought on because of fear can result in discomfort through aches and pains in the body. Amen. A lot that. of times we are experiencing pains that we don't know where they're coming from could be the result of you operating in fear. Amen. Do you know when you get angry sometimes that that's a result of fear? Anger is a result of fear. The reason why is you're angry, you, you're exercising anger because of something somebody is doing and you may be fear that the, the fear is that because you don't know, you they may be about to expose or do something that you don't like, right. and and that and that can produce fear, and be, and when the fear is present, your body can experience aches and pain. Why? Because you open the door for the enemy. That's the door that the enemy operates in. Is fear. People, people have went to uh, have had pains and and went to the doctor, and the doctor couldn't even find out what was wrong with them. You know that's an attack from the enemy. Yes, a lot of times the evidence was there. People have had rashes and different things come on their body and, and the doctor didn't have no explanation for it. And here it's telling us that we can ex experience physical uh, pain and suffering through fear. Mm -hmm. mm. Y'all still there with me? Yeah. All right. However, mental suffering or torment that is brought on because of fear can result in a mindset that is constantly in expectation of punishment. That's a person that's always looking to be tortured or tormented. Mm -hmm. I'm explaining that in depth in a minute. Yeah. The Amplified Bible says says it like this: For fear brings with it the thought of punishment. Mm -hmm. When fear dominates us. And you're about to face a problem. Let's say you got a problem that you're facing and fear is there. Instead of expecting victory over the problem, your expectation is to be defeated in the problem. And that's torment. That's, that's, you're being torment. You're expecting to lose. If you got sickness attacking your body and you have fear there, the fear there will cause you to expect the sickness to defeat you. Yeah. And you'll be in torment because you're expecting to lose. I call it, you know how, what, what, what's the term? Optimist and pessimist? An yeah. uh, optimist is one that sees the glass half full, mm -hmm. where a pessimist sees the glass half empty. Well, that's the mindset that you have because you're now in expectation of, 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 of looking for the worst. Right. Do you know where that comes from? That comes from the world. Right. I remember people telling me in the world when, when, when something is about, when you're expecting a, a, a situation to arise in your life, I don't know if you've ever been told this, but I've been told this many times, always expect the worst. Hmm. So, if, so if something good, if it, if it good happens, then you're okay with it. But now you're prepared for the worst. Whereas a believer, that's not what we do. Yeah. Uh, if you look in, you don't have to turn there, but in the Amplified Bible, in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and around verse 13, it defines what hope is. It says hope is expectation 
of good. Mm -hmm. right. Do you know your expectation? The expectation is the prerequisite to manifestation. Whatever you are expecting, that's what comes or is before the manifestation. So if you're expecting the, 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 the negative, then your expectation brings on the negative. Right. Do you understand what I just said? Mm -hmm. See, the Bible says that we're to uh, be in hope, right? Hope, we're, we're, we're to have hope. But what faith does, faith brings hope into the now realm. Right. All right. Uh, Hebrews 11, 1 says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Right. So faith brings hope into the now realm. So if I use hope from the Bible's definition, it is an expectation of good. Right. So when I'm in expectation of good happening in my situation, then that's what I'm going to receive. Right. But if I'm in expectation of the bad happening, mm. then that's what I'm going to receive because everything is going to push me in that direction. Yes. All my attitude, my words, my behavior pattern is going to push me in the direction of receiving the worst because I'm in expectation of losing. Mm -hmm. That's basically what it's talking about here. Y'all yeah. still with me? Yes, mm -hmm. sir. All right, from your notes. It says, when our minds become gripped by thoughts that are fear-based, this can result in you and I being tormented with the idea of being punished. In other words, our minds will be focused on receiving the negative results of whatever may be the cause of the fear. Whatever the problem is, you are now in expectation of the problem defeating you. That's what fear, fear, fear puts us in this type of attitude. This is a mindset that is in expectation of being defeated by the circumstances. Mm -hmm. Also, don't forget that not only does fear affect us mentally, but our physical well-being can, be, can deteriorate through headaches, increased pulse rates, high blood pressure, and even ulcers. Mm -hmm. That's a physical breakdown of your body because of fear. Mm -hmm. You may be experiencing these things because of fear. Mm -hmm. 